in today's IT environments, we are asked to do more with less. More services, more agility, more security, and far less resources than yesterday. My name is Michael Matson. I'm a tech marketing engineer with Hewlett Packet Enterprise. Today I'm going to talk about the HP Electra 6000 and Nimble Storage Integration with Kubernetes and the HPE CSI driver. It's very common that you deploy all your application tenants and workloads on a common uh, compute network and storage platform. And you then have a service catalog that you offer to your tenants. And it could be uh, anything from uh, web servers, applications, AI workloads, services, and databases, and, and God knows what. And what a very common pattern that we see is that uh, resources are basically deployed on a shared uh, set of resources. So all your uh, all your application to go down to uh, a single array, a single data store within VMware, perhaps, and isolating noisy neighbors and and uh, catering to the. Uh, the, the whole portfolio of different applications within your service catalog becomes very difficult when everything is commingled within the same um, uh, within the same data store. So w one pattern we, we often see is that uh, a particular application stack might get uh, its own dedicated volumes uh, on the uh, on the array itself, and there the storage admin can then set the, all the parameters that it needs uh, and that the application needs, right? Uh, but that kind of become uh, a, a long string of tickets in, in your support system because there, there needs to be a lot of hands involved. Uh, so not only does Kubernetes help you deploy application in a flexible, scalable way, but, but when it comes to stateful applications, uh, we might need uh, a little bit more control uh, handed over to the end user. And that is what the multi-tenant feature is all about. On the HP Electra 6000 and Nimble Storage, we have a feature called uh, a folder. A folder is basically a... Um, a little security uh, constraint domain where we can set uh, IOPS, uh, we can control the throughput, uh, and we can also control how much cap capacity is, is being consumed uh, by the folder. And this is set by the storage administrator that have a, a good hold on how, how much resources are available for, uh, for its front-end applications. And how Kubernetes comes into play here is that we install on one of the tenants uh, Kubernetes clusters that's been deployed to run his uh, web apps is we install the HPE CSI driver. Next step would be that the storage admin creates something called a tenant uh, on the, on the back end array and hands over those credentials to the Kubernetes administrator. And what the Kubernetes admin doesn't know is that those uh, credentials are locked in to one or many folders. Uh, so he has an upper cap on uh, the IOPS, the throughput, and how much capacity he can consume, right? So when he uses the HP CSI driver to dynamically provision volumes, those will be automatically placed uh, within this folder. And in the folder, uh, the, um, the Kubernetes administrator uh, have full control uh, over uh, all the parameters that uh, you can set on the volume, right? So you have uh, all the performance policies uh, are at your fingertips. Uh, you can uh, use protection templates to automatically create the snapshot schedules and uh, replicate the downstream arrays. And you also have, uh, you can also toggle all the provisioning parameters such as thin and thick, uh, all the data reduction parameters as deduplicate compression, encryption, is another one, right? So, and all that, uh, all those parameters by themselves can also be uh, modified uh, so to allow end users to tune certain parameters themselves. And that will, uh, that gives the application owner immense flexibility when they when they deploy their applications. And we also have a new uh, thing uh, in in this space, and that, that is a Prometheus uh, exporter. The Pr uh, Prometheus exporter uh, will uh, allow the uh, Prometheus instance to run in the tenant's Kubernetes cluster because the Prometheus exporter that it, it grabs the metrics uh, from the array is multi-tenant aware as well. So, you, so the, the tenant will only see the volumes and the resources that have been provisioned for him. And you can also uh, then monitor not only IOPS and throughput, but you also have read and write latency 
and a very rich suite of uh, metrics that you can, can then visualize uh, using uh, Grafana or using PromQL or anything else that uh, can visualize metrics from a, from a time series database. Uh, we also have a metric exporter for the HPE CSI driver, uh, and that will allow the end user to correlate storage performance with the actual persistent volume performance within the Kubernetes cluster, and therefore build end-to-end uh, -end visualization of their entire application stack. This feature is available uh, immediately uh, with the latest HPE CSI driver and the HPE Electra 6000 and Nimble Storage. If you want to learn more about these technologies offered by HP, visit hp.com slash stores slash containers. See you soon.